What up Capricorn? Welcome to your April reading, you guys. Good to see you. This is my channel, Triple Moon Oracle. I'm Elizabeth. So happy you landed on my channel. Good to see you. So we're going to be doing this reading. Well, there's that. <laughs> um, oh, we got Gemini. Gemini coming in. So these are, we're going to be looking at who's coming towards you in love. Um, whether it's a current connection, this could be somebody you're going to meet in the next month or so, um, somebody you've already met. So be somebody from the past coming back, even though I haven't gotten too many of those. Um, but yeah, this is not going to resonate for every Capricorn out there. So just keep that in mind. If it doesn't resonate for you guys, check your other placements, uh, or you can book a personal reading with me. My link for that is below. It's Etsy. Um, and if it does resonate, um, there's going to be an extended reading. Okay. There's a one-time purchase and a Patreon. So, and right now when you guys sign up on Patreon, you're going to get put into a drawing for a free 30 minute reading. Okay. So we're going to look at the, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Zodiac, the Zodiac signs. Like I was like rushing in here doing this Zodiac signs that are coming towards you. Okay. If you don't see your Zodiac sign here, that's fine. This could be their moon, their rising, their Venus sign or North node. This could be their energy, the energy of them. Okay. Like each sign holds its energy. So we've got Gemini was the first one that came out Taurus and we have cancer. All right. Taurus and cancer are definitely good combinations with Capricorn. Um, you guys are earth. So, you know, earth and water are your, excuse me, top two. And then fire and air are fine sometimes, but not usually as compatible. But like I said, it can be their moon, their rising, their Venus. It doesn't need to be their sun sign. And um, everybody has individual charts. You know, you can't just base uh, your compatibility off of your sun sign. Like it's just, there's, it's so incomplete doing it that way, even though it like you know, you can see a lot of reasons why it works doing that, but there's, when you do a full chart comparison with the two people, then you really get into it. So we have Mercury. So this is their energy. Okay. The, and the cards that are about to come out are their energy. We have Mercury communication, which, you know, sure enough, Gemini rules Mercury. Gemini is that energy of communication and curiosity and um, very smart and very curious. Whoa there. Um, very, so I'm seeing them be like very communicative. They like to talk. They like to work things out. They like to, you know, verbalize how they're feeling and they like you to do the same. Um, I think they're a very talkative person in general. Okay. Very encouraging. We have the semi-sextile allowing um, aspect here. Very encouraging. Like they see things in a very positive light. They're very, um, very hopeful, very positive. They see the potential in you. They see potential in the things around them and the people around them. Um, and I think that they're very, you know, encouraging people in that way. And they just have this way of, you know, going with the flow and allowing things to be what they are and allowing things to grow as they need to grow. And I think that's a beautiful trait to have in a partner because they're going to, you know, just be very like mindful with you and, and realize that, you know, you have your time and you're going to grow in your own speed and they're not going to be this like judgmental, you know, prick. Okay. We have Uranus revolution, which is, um, Aquarius energy. So very original, very insightful. They have a lot of, um, kind of individuality that most people maybe don't have. There's certain aspects to them that like are very different from a lot of people. Okay. Um, they could be also be very much into humanitarianism, very much like into charity work and a giver. We have Neptune dreams. So imagination, memories, um, subconscious, self-sacrificing, spiritual, the Neptune is Pisces energy. It's, um, water energy. It's very spiritual, very, you know, they escape through fantasies and they, you know, they're imaginative and they're very artistic and they're very spiritual and they have this, you know, upper chakra kind of energy where they're always in that like upper place. Okay. Seeing the Sagittarius energy that should have been in my Zodiac 
sign pile, but whatever. Um, so this could be a Sagittarius as well. Okay. And then we have Chiron healing. So this person has gone through a lot of healing. They've gone through a lot of <sighs> dealt with a lot of their issues and dealt with a lot of things that have happened to them in the past. And I think that's beautiful because they're going to be able to bring that into this relationship and, um, you know, see your healing for what it is too. We have the numinous mystery. I'm feel I feel like this person's going to be very spiritual, very a little bit head in the clouds, spiritual. Okay. They see things from a much higher perspective. They may meditate and, um, you know, listen to spiritual books. They may have gone on spiritual retreats. They may have crystals and do full moon ceremonies and things like that. And I think this person is very, um, you know, connected to spirit and the universe in that way. All right. So let's take a look at the, um, uh, good Lord. I cannot find my words tonight. The energy of the connection. Thank you very much. What is the energy of the connection between you two? Energy of the connection between you two. We have community. So yeah, I think you guys are both very giving. You both want to give to people. Um, you could both be doing humanitarian work. Yeah, you both work really hard, okay? And both of you, like I said, could be very much into giving to charity or doing charity work. But I think both of you just work hard in general at whatever it is that you do. You guys are hard workers, okay? And I think both of you are going to really work hard at the relationship too is what is coming to me. You guys are going to work hard at your relationship. You're not going to give up easily. You're going to be very persistent. Um, we have by the book, we have why unfinished symphony and a leg up. Wow. So honestly, you know, this could be a, a connection that you've had in the past that it wasn't finished. You guys are maybe going to be completing some kind of cycle, um, in this connection together. I've never gotten the unfinished symphony in any of these readings so far. Um, you're going to figure out why you guys started this connection and as you finish out this connect like not finish but as you connect again you're going to realize why you connected the first time that's for some of you that doesn't need to be for all of you but like this could be somebody you went to school with as a kid this doesn't need to be an ex do you know what i'm saying um you guys possibly were friends or helped each other in some way in the past and this could even be a past life connection, okay? Maybe this was somebody that you helped out in a past life and that you guys um, were connected in some way in a past life. For some of you, this is a past life connection. For others of you, this is like a this life past connection, if that makes sense. And you guys could have been married in the past, in a past life, um, or you guys will be married in this lifetime, okay? And I think you're gonna find out reasons why you're, you're going to discover why you guys are, are together in this lifetime and, and why you guys were together in the past or in a past lifetime. There's something about you guys figuring out why things happened the way they did. Okay. Tell me the energy of the connection, please, spirit. Energy of the connection. So we got the moon energy cancer. Okay. Seven of pentacles. So tell me about the moon. There was something here that it's like you're going to figure out something. You're going to uncover some reason why or something that was hidden in the past. I don't even know. It's connected to some injustice that happened between you guys or to you guys. Okay. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I, I'm guessing that's for somebody. But here's the thing. Like the seven of pentacles means that you guys planted the seeds at some point. And now you're reaping the harvest. So basically that means like you guys may have planted the seeds to this relationship in a past life. And now you guys are, and now things are blooming. Now things are ready. Okay. Or you planted the seeds when you were kids, you knew this person as a kid and those seeds were planted in your relationship, but we're not ready for you guys to come together until now. And now the seeds are blooming. And um, here's your energy. We've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and, Bur and Virgo. Lots of Pentacle energy. 
I think that a lot of you held on to this person even when you were single. Okay, many of you have been single or you both of you were single maybe for a while and you held on to this person when you were single, but like you held on to their energy. Maybe you don't know this person and you knew them in a past life and for some reason you've held on to that energy with them and you just knew that you just know that there's somebody there for you and you've connected with this person before some of you know that okay if you've met this person in a previous life it's like i know that there's a person out there i don't know who they are but i've connected with them before and I've, i'm i'm holding on to this i'm holding on to them and sure enough they're coming in they're going to be coming in for you okay Wow, that's amazing. So listen, we're going to move into the extended reading. In the extended, we're going to look at your energy towards this connection. There's always some crazy twists and turns. A lot of people say, well, I know my energy towards this connection. I'd be happier, this or that. But there's so many intricacies that go into it. So we're going to look into those things. And we're going to look into um, some timeline, see if that we can see when this is coming in for you. Some, you know, love uh pure like pure love oracle cards here and then we're going to do some charms um and we're going to look at the most likely outcome for this connection as well so if you want to join me in the extended those links are below there's patreon the one-time purchase patreon has all of the tiers written out um if you want access to all of my extendeds if you want access to all of my extended and you want a personal reading every single month 30 minute personal reading every single month there's a 25 dollar tier which is a really good deal you get basically half off of readings. So my 30 minute readings are usually $50. You get it for $25 every single month towards the end of the month. Um, you also get access to all of my extendeds. You get access to bonus readings. You get 25% off of extra readings and my uh, jewelry that's on Etsy. So anyways, check that out. I have everything written out for that in the description box. There's lots of other tiers that you can join too for the different price points. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not please hit that thumbs up button. Please leave me a comment. I try to respond to everybody. Um, and I love y'all. Hope to see you in the extended. If not, I'll see you next month. But there were lots of things in this connection. Somebody ran from this connection too. And it was like, you guys maybe lost communication or gave it communication. Things stopped moving forward. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of maybe like um, negative mindsets or things like things that kind of held you guys back from being able to really go after this connection together. And you, you know, I think felt really heartbroken because this person kept running or I don't know, something along the lines of like somebody running and there wasn't enough healing here that like there wasn't enough healing of, between you guys that could make things better at the time that you guys tried. And like I said, this could be a past life connection or this could this could have happened in the past life or this could have happened in this life, you know, in the past, literally. Um, but here's the thing. I'm seeing a whole new beginning with after all this tragedy here.